Hello there, I'm Geraldine and I'm at White Gables at Hope River in Prince Edward Island. Today we're painting in the studio because the uh, weather has turned colder and snowy and there are no shadows. So we decided to uh, take a picture uh, that a friend sent from town, from Sydney Street, an old part of Charlottetown. And we're going to go through the process of what I would do with uh, painting buildings. Now each stage of painting is interesting, the sketch, the uh, underpainting, and then the final painting. So let me show you my process and if it's helpful to you, uh, great. Uh, I find as an artist I'm always learning things so I hope you can learn something too. Over here we have my uh, pencil sketch which gives me an idea of where the shadows and the lighter values are. And then I go on to a, a watercolor sketch using ultramarine. That again shows me where my lights and darks are. And then I go to a chalk drawing on my um, canvas and the canvas is toned with gesso and a little bit of uh, black acrylic paint and that helps uh, get the values down. So uh, we're going to go in with some chalk and that way we can erase if we can't find the perspective and uh, it just helps visualize where the painting is going to go. So here we go. Here we have a picture of the street scene and you see that the north side is dark and the, uh, the west side is lighted and we've got a few cars and what we want to try to show is community because these buildings are close together. Um, there's no people on the street, probably too cold, but uh, we want to give an impression of what it's like to live on this street on the island without being too precise. So here we go. So here we have the chalk drawing and the uh, ideal thing about chalk is that you can uh, erase a line, you're not committed yet, and you can stand back and look, is it placed where you want it, you can make any changes now. So I think I'm ready to do an outline now and we'll move over to the palette. So here we have our colors and I use a Stay Wet palette and instead of the wet pad in there I just put a, a, a paper palette. Uh, gray helps you uh, see your mixing values and what I like to use is a warm and a cool of each uh, primary color and then I have earth tones and white. So lemon yellow, cadmium yellow, cadmium orange, cadmium red, alizarin crimson and then for today I've added permanent rose and manganese violet and dioxazine purple. On the cool side I have uh, cerulean blue, cobalt blue, ultramarine blue, viridian green, chrome oxide green, and in the earth tones, I have yellow ochre, burnt sienna, raw umber, and white. So, um, to put this painting, to, uh, to firm it up, I'm going to dilute some alizarin crimson, and this just becomes part of the painting. And again, uh, this stage, you can still change things around. just to give an idea of where the shapes are.
think we got it down. <laughs> okay, now I've done a, a quick sketch to place my um, shapes on the canvas. And now I'm going to um, take a mixture of ultramarine and alizarin crimson and thin it down. And I'm going to uh, put in the value uh, of the shadows. All right. So now we've got the, uh, val the value of the shadows in, uh, in a thin wash, and I'm going to go in now with the colors, and I'll start with the sky. The lightest value will be the snow on this side, and the sky will be the second lightest value, and then I can judge everything else in the painting by that. So over here, I uh, pre-mix some of my colors. I made a gray and then lightened it for the sky. It's not a clear blue sky, it's a little bit of gray in there. And here are my um, highlight and shadow colors for the first house, the yellow house, and for the second house, which is kind of a reddish earth tone, and for the third house, which is a blue-green. So these three colors here represent uh, a version of the primary colors red, yellow, and blue. And I think that will make the painting in interesting. As I'm coming this way, I'm going to go a little lighter because the sun is coming from this side. There you have the sky. Now probably some can pick up some of the sky color down here um, and then the white white will be right here and here. Okay I guess I'm gonna just start from the sky and go down and uh, the sun is shining on the roof so it's not black black, it's reflecting light. So I've added a little bit of uh, uh, burnt sienna to my dark.
Okay, and now we'll go with the neighbor's roof. Just go down the street now. Okay, so the greatest contrast is happening right here between the sunny side of the home and the dark side here. And I've added a few colors in there and we'll come back to that. But I think it's important to get the whole street down and then we can go back to uh, refining it. I switched to a smaller brush to help get around the corners a little bit. I'm taking some of the color of this house, the shadow, and uh, if I see places where it's reflecting around, uh, I'm adding that in now while it's on my brush. Let's see how the contrast is. Uh, it could be a little lighter. I think that's more like it. Now we'll go to the the uh, greenish building here. Again, the shadow side. the 
light side. building like a purpley red down here okay now into the car One part will be to add in the white snow, but I'm going to leave that till the very end. So right now we'll go back and start refining the picture a bit, like uh, putting in the eaves, the windows, uh, modeling the car a bit, and then we'll get to the snow. Okay, now I've got some white with a little bit of cannon and yellow in it, just to uh, show the sun reflecting on the snow and we're uh, adding that in. switching to a little bit of alizarin in the snow as we move away from the um, central area there. Here I've got a little bit of cool white as we move away from this area. So add, add a little ultramarine to the white mixture. So we've had a good morning's work here and the painting is pretty well finished, I would say. I went in and finished some of the details on the windows. Uh, I didn't want to put too em much emphasis on the cars 
I added the snow and the hydro wires and the final touch is the signature to the right. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this morning's work and feel inspired to go out to your town or city and find a good shot to paint. Bye now from Hope River.